All right, guys, uh, we're still fighting the weather. I did talk to the guys that do my planting and uh, harvesting, and uh, they're gonna come out now. They're done. They're finished with their uh, planting in their valley, and they said that uh, just as soon as uh, it's fit and it's dry, they're gonna come out and uh, do mine. And I expect to see them as soon as the weather straightens up here, if it ever does. It rained yesterday and it wasn't supposed to. And this morning we got uh, like a thunderstorm that gave us hail. Uh, luckily that kind of went north of us. So um, just checking here. It's only been a couple days, but I, I did get uh, all the soybean ground sprayed. I can see it's turning yellow here. Uh, the hay fields that I had sprayed dead are still very green and uh, might have to come back again quick. Um, it is very wet today and I don't have many other choices. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and then next week is nice and that's about when they're going to come out to do this. Um, so for me to wait for nice weather, it's only going to make it delay. The spring to get some of these weeds out of here before they come to plant not that it's an emergency i can spray after they plant but with uh, my work schedule and everything going on i may not get it done so i'm gonna have to push the issue i think today and i'm going to have to uh, i'm spraying up on top of the hill here so i shouldn't be i won't make ruts like they did before but yeah, the ground is definitely a little bit saturated here but at least it looks like things are definitely turning turning yellow here so like i say it's only been a couple days i don't get that nice burn down look after about only three days two days so but i can see it is working so anyway on to the next thing so as you guys know we still have this waterway project under construction um with all that rain that we had the other day we had like two and a half inches and uh i'm not seeing anything wash thank goodness uh this nice area that he had done here wasn't seeded yet and I'm not seeing any ruts. I got to go down further and look. But anyway, he uh, I brought another piece of equipment here. <laughs> it doesn't take fancy equipment to do uh, nice jobs here. This is a Farmall International 130. So we got a 130 here, the offset tractor. And he's got a little, uh, looks like a little Coldy Packer here. And that's almost perfect for uh, a small waterway project like this. He can drive up and down and he said he had a small seed or I'm sure it'll be something like this. Um, <laughs> I think I see he put the seat cushion in the cat in the cab to keep it dry. But yeah, it's a little 130. Just do a little walk around here. And it looks like it's got a new starter or starter was worked on. And the tag's still on it. Maybe he got it from an auction. Oh, it's a maintenance tag. It says when the oil was changed and stuff. So yeah, that'll work. That'll roll that out real nice. Level it off. We don't want it too smooth and the rain will really take it away. So, <coughs> so that's where we're at. We didn't get a whole lot here. No real waterway update. Uh, I'll show you the hay fields and I'm not sure. It rained right after I sprayed and it wasn't supposed to rain. We're getting a lot of that so far, but anyway, I gotta quit talking. I gotta keep moving here today. I got some spraying to do, I think. So I don't know if I wanna come back and do this again. Uh, anyway, this is the hay field that uh, I had sprayed. I wanna get rid of. It's been hay for 30 years. The plan is once this is, uh, we're gonna no-till corn in here for two years. Corn on corn for two years in this sod field. Get it uh, rotated to corn for two years, and then I want to come back and I want to seed alfalfa in this. Uh, I think alfalfa will do really well on this hillside in the rockier uh, terrain. Um, I want to see if we can't no-till it, either borrow a no-till drill or do something there with that. I don't. Uh, there's some neighbors that have them. I guess I could hire somebody to do it, but um, I like to change it up a little. The horse customers were asking about alfalfa. Um, they said they were paying like seven dollars a bale for good alfalfa and uh, I, I can <laughs> I don't need that much but I could definitely get a little more for alfalfa hay just because of the protein content I'm pretty sure than uh, grass hay I think I don't know I, I have to see what they're willing to pay for good hay but I'd like to grow some alfalfa and uh, this this like I said is 30 years so it doesn't look very 
uh, yellow or brown like it was sprayed. Now granted, it's only a couple days ago, but to give you perspective, and I don't know how well the camera's gonna show, this hay field staying. This is the one that was just thick with Timothy, and uh, you don't wanna get rid of a field that is producing, and this one wasn't, and this one still is. And uh, it looks like it's about the same <laughs> shade of green. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. Maybe a little bit, like on the end here, it looks a little yellow. So I should have did it in the fall. I just didn't didn't know what I was doing. I should have did it in the early spring, but I didn't know what I was doing. So I finally made a decision here in the last minute. Um, neighbor said, you might as well mow it and bale it and then plant corn in. Well, it's not working with the weather. It's just not, a, and it's not hot enough. It's only 60 today. So <coughs> mowing, it's not gonna do you any good. Then you have hay laying on the ground. They have to try to plant through, plant through your uh, mowed hay. <coughs> it's a little easier to plant it if it's standing. So yeah, this one we definitely want to keep. This is a beautiful field yet of Timothy. And you'll notice there's no uh, tracks through it because I did not get nitrogen on it because my nitrogen guy never brought me nitrogen. That's a whole other thing. And uh, a little upset about that. Now this field's not no, going to be nowhere near what it was last year and it's getting late. So I just got to get mean, I guess.